Okay, I'm uploading a lot of videos uh, today, right now, because um, last week I got a strike against me by YouTube. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but um, if YouTube doesn't like your videos, then um, not only did they not let you show the video, but uh, they don't let you post. And if you get um, three strikes, then they take down your YouTube channel. So uh, the video, as far as I can tell, was about me saying, all right, I've had enough conspiracy theories about uh, the Rona. And uh, it's time that we get on board with what the mainstream medical people want us to wait for. And it comes in the form of a um, a thing. And, uh, you know, you go to see your doctor to get this thing um, done. And then once you're done, then, um, well, that's the whole point of it, is to get out of the mire of um, eternally hearing that horrible word on the news that I call the Rona and uh, coming around to the idea that uh, uh, I'm just going to cave in. I'm caving in to mainstream media and I'm just going to cave in because I can't do any more um, than say I, I still think it's a bunch of but I'm not going to go down that path. I'm going to say I am all for people going to the doctor and getting this thing done whenever it's available so that we can finally put this goddamn farce behind us. And that's what I said. I said, go with what mainstream medical people are telling you to do whenever this thing is available for you to go into the doctor's office and have the doctor do this thing for you so you will no longer be um, um. anyways um this video nothing I, I did swear a little bit because i you know sometimes i do get some profanity you know when i'm expressing my views but this was what it wasn't cited for it was cited for um going against um YouTube policies and YouTube policies are when it comes to the Rona, it's basically a go with whatever um, Lester Holt is telling you on NBC News, um, and they're enforcing that. And uh, even though I gave them a video that totally falls within their guidelines, somebody reported it as being anti-vax, and it wasn't anti-vax at all. It wasn't, 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 wasn't. I caved in and I said, uh, "Let's move. We got to get this thing off dead center. We got to." move and this is the only logical thing that is going to move the people the sheeple so let's go for it and they gave me a strike so what do i think happened well in the middle of this a lot of people who are the um new age people uh who are def definitely heavily into uh conspiracy theory tin hat stuff but when I, um, I had a lot of these people on my fans list, and um, uh, I dropped this bomb on them that um, I was not going to be on their side anymore on this because um, there's not enough people wearing the tin hat hat to build an army big enough to take down um, mainstream media. So um, I just said, I've had enough. I, I'm sick and tired of this going on and on and on and yes I I understand where you got your tin hat from I totally understand it I totally think that the thing is uh, what in the interest of getting past this issue I said to these people this is my video that I'm putting out and this was the one that was taken down by YouTube and it was being let's do this thing so I think one of these people push the button, report hate speech or something, and it got reported to uh, YouTube and I got my strike. Well, um, how do I feel about all this? Uh, I just want to tell you, it's not just the mainstream news people that are crazy. The Tin Hat people are crazy. And the Sheeple people are, um, can you call them crazy? <sighs> I just call them dumb. They're dumb. Because um, at least the, you know, the 
tin hat people and I don't know with mainstream people are kind of you know, it's just not gonna work that's not gonna work no 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 race a race a race anyways the whole thing is that um, the people who are still pushing on the tin hat thing I can't handle them anymore I can't handle it anymore I can't handle it anymore I have got uh, I'm, I'm just done. I'm just done with it, uh, and I'm not going to refight these same battles because, um, seriously, no one else cares. They just, um, no one else cares. No one cares. No one cares. And the anti-vax people are like, this was one of the people who, like, finally I just said, fuck you, you fucking, and I swore at her because she's one of these anti-vax people. Anti-vax, you know, Anti-vax, 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 and it's like, I read all the shit that you've sent me over the years on this. But the simple fact is, and I told this one, I said, the simple fact is, um, there's people who have grandparents who are in their 70s and 80s, and um, if we follow you, anti-vax people, then the people in the 70s and the 80s are open to dying from COVID-19. And I said to this person, I have talked to people during the course of this epidemic, and I've heard stories from people who have had direct relatives who had this thing, and it's not pleasant. I was told by one person that their brother had it, and it felt like the brother said, it felt like I had shards of glass in my lungs. So when I heard these kind of stories, I'm saying, well, even if it is made in a lab in Wuhan, it's still here, and um, people's grandparents are at risk, and uh, I'm not going to stand continuously on the side of... So I'm just going to let these anti-vax people have it and say, if you want to kill the grandparents of planet Earth, then you keep standing in your truth. But I'm looking at it, and I'm saying... Mistakes were made in the first round, the first go-around of the first lockdowns last summer. Mistakes were made. And now it's time for us to look at our mistakes and reevaluate. And I said, I don't care how many more things you're going to send me anti-vax. I said, um, World Health Organization got rid of smallpox using vaccines. It was a horrible disease. It's gone. There was all kinds of childhood diseases that I got vaccinated for, that in my parents' generation they didn't have vaccines for, and in my generation the children didn't get mumps and measles and rubella and all these horrible things. And I told this person that my uncle's sister had um, one of these fevers as a child, and uh, she became deaf and almost blind, and she had to live in long-term care by herself by herself with care p caregivers and it was one of these childhood diseases that was um, never happened to us because we had the vaccine so I'm just uh, dumping all of the truth bombs on the anti-vaxxers and saying if we follow you we're going to hell with the children we're going to hell because you are um, over representing the seriousness of these vaccines in other words, um, whatever it is that you're all about, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it because for the general population, it works. And all of this other stuff, it all came clear. All of the concerns that we had about these um, these uh, new vaccines um, changing your DNA, well... Um, and I gave this woman, one of the doctors, who explained it. And we never had good information early on, and it was kind of scary. But uh, I got a really good doctor on YouTube, and he explained it, and he said, it's not going to change your DNA. He explained it very well. It should have been on the Lester Holt sh uh, show a long time ago. It's still not on there. But he explained it. The guy, is, uh, in addition to being a, um, a doctor, is a... Um, molecular bio biologist so um anyways that's the whole point and uh the reason i haven't been posting the past week is because i had this strike against me and now uh, i'm giving you 
a bunch of videos that I made last week that uh, I couldn't put here. Uh, I did put a lot of them on my, onto my Instagram account, Bar Burroughs Bobby, and uh, so if I ever get struck again, you can always go over to Burroughs Bobby and see them. And uh, what else do I want to tell you? Um, situation normal.